Omega. 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 Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. I have here a CZ75B Omega, which I recently purchased off of Gunbroker. It was listed as used, but in the listing it also said that it might not have actually been fired. And having handled it and shot one magazine through it, that's probably true. Because this has yet to go through its break-in period, which I'll go into in a minute. One of the big benefits of this B Omega series is that you can choose to install a safety or a decocker. And the pieces come with the pistol. And I already have a video on my channel about how to switch between the two. The magazines are 16 rounders, plus one capacity for the pistol. And I currently have the safety installed. Disassembly is pretty simple, or it's supposed to be. You line up the notches on the slide and receiver, and then you're supposed to just poke out the slide stop, kind of like a Browning high power. But this is still new enough that I can't do it by hand and actually just kind of take the bomb magazine to give it a good whack and then I can pull it out the rest of the way. And this is actually an improvement because the first few times I did this, I even needed a punch to get it out the rest of the way because I could not get this by hand. And there's other videos on YouTube about this already. I'll go over it real quick. So the little lip there cut in the slide stop will wear out in a few hundred rounds and with use. But right now, it's just very difficult because it's still in that break-in period of a new firearm. And I'm not used to that because almost everything I buy is usually pretty used or well-used, including my carry pieces. So this is a little different for me. And this is actually after taking it out several times to make it a little looser. I can now also put it back in by hand. And at first, I could not. So I'm sure with a little bit more use, it will become like second nature and come off. So the rest of the disassembly is pretty simple. You just take the slide off, take the spring out, and take the barrel out. And that's the field stripping complete. It's pretty simple. It is the legacy of a Browning High Power. And I think this is a very uncomplicated and simple way to field strip a pistol. One thing interesting about the CZ-75 in particular is that the rails are on the inside and on most pistols, they'll be more on the outside of the frame. Another thing I ought to mention as part of the break-in period is the safety. When I first installed the safety, this was actually pretty stiff, flipping it on and off. But I just sat there for a few minutes, just kind of going like this. And now it's very smooth and very easy. So I purchased this because I shot someone else's CZ-75 not too long ago. And I really liked the feel in the hand and the recoil. I just like the design overall. I'm a fan of the Browning High Power, and as a lot of people mentioned, this is kind of the successor. I think it has a good grip pattern. It feels good in my hand. I like this little cut and uh, striations on the front of the trigger guard as well. And overall, I just like the feel and look of it. But I don't really have much range time on this, so this is all first impression. I bought this looking to make it a primary carry gun but i'm gonna to have to run several hundred rounds through it first to make to make sure that it meets my reliability standards and also my own personal accuracy standards because sometimes you know you meet a pistol or firearm that you just can't hit things with compared to something else so we'll have to wait and see on that part to see if i am going to make this my primary carry other than that it's pretty standard standard magazine release Standard slide stop. The only ambidextrous controls 
are the safety or decocker. But being a left-hander, I'm pretty well used to running the slide stop and the magazine with my left hand. So that's really not an issue. It does come with uh, tritium sights. A similar sight picture to my rounding high power. So that should be a pretty easy transition. And I think that's all I really have to say as far as first impressions go. I'm sure I'll check back in on this pistol after I have more range time with it and just kind of get my further thoughts. But I just want to do a quick video and go over that. So that's all for today. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching.